All right, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about tuning, tuning by ear. And we're going to talk about training our ear to listen to what we call a sum or a difference frequency or a beat frequency. And this is a frequency that is produced when, when, we, when we superimpose or we smash two frequencies together. Um, so here's A. And this octave here is 440 hertz. This A represents the second string down on the guitar, which is also A. So if I take this guy and lower it just a little bit, down to say 438, I should have a difference of two. And we hear that little wiggle in there. That frequency is what we're, we want to train our ear to. So I'm going to tune this guy up. so that the sum and difference frequency is zero. Now if I continue to go higher on this A string on the guitar, and lift it above 440, say 442 or so, I have another sum and difference frequency. So now I'm gonna lower this guitar pitch down. Again, we want to listen to the intermediate frequency. We don't want to listen to this, and we don't want to listen to this. We want to hear that the frequency that's being produced when we smash these two together. So practice tuning and practice listening to that wiggle, that intermediate frequency, that interference frequency. You can call it a sum or difference frequency. You can call it a beat, whatever you want to call it. But that's what we, we, we want to tune that out. We want both of these notes to be equal, which means there is no difference. All right, when tuning a guitar to a piano, we need to make sure we get the right note in the right octave. This here is middle C. The first, the lowest note on a guitar is an E if it's in standard tuning. So here's the first octave below middle C, and here's the second octave below middle C. The E note that corresponds to the guitar is in the second octave below middle C. And this is the note. Typically I like to step on the pedal so that the note will sustain. So here's E. The second note will be A, and it's in the same octave. Up from A will be D. Up from D will be G. And then because the guitar's tuning is weird, you're not going to go up a fourth, you're going to go up a third to a B. And then finally, the high E string on the guitar. And that high E string is right above the middle C. So again, you find middle C on the piano, you go down one octave, and then down to the next E. That's the note that represents the lowest note on the guitar. E. Come up a fourth to A. Come up another fourth to D. Come up another fourth to G. Come up a third to B, and go up and past middle C, up another fourth to the high E string.